The name of the game is Grimtail Island. The multiplayer is coming in the near future, but let's just hit a solo by ourselves real quick. Watch out, the game's got bugs because it's still in development. It was made by Triple L Entertainment with the use of Unreal Engine 4. Or is it powered? I'm not too fucking sure. We spawn in to see some seagulls in the air, then we take a gander over at the city, then we look back at the lovely seagulls, and then over at our raft with a bit of a fucking blink. Now we're stumbling to our feet. I think we're on our feet now. But the game is now underway. We have our HUD, we have health, radiation, food, water, and uh, some stuff to pick up on the ground. That looks like an ingot. It most certainly is. This looks like a story. We'll get to that later. That's some health. Let me pick it up. I've picked it up now. Let's get the axe. We've got to get some resources and get some H2O. Very nice. Let's uh, let's take a look at the story now. Uh, this uh, survival game is story-based, so we've got little notes all over the show. Thank you, Leo. I'll get back to you later. But uh, we've got a raft here, can we? Can we use this raft? Can we drag it up shore? Maybe prop it up with a stick and make a shelter? I don't know, but let's fucking go over there. Get that wood. Slap the wood a couple times and you get it added to your inventory. Or when you get enough of it, you can build shit. Uh, let's let's praise the uh, holy apple tree real quick. Uh, fucking, I love this guy. This is, this is the place to build a base. Let's get some rocks real quick. I think we'll need about four to do what we're doing. Let's kill Mr. Krabs. We need supplements. Back at Apple HQ, we can access the inventory and the crafting menu at the same time. There's lots of things to craft, but we'll make a fire first. We've made the fire now. Let's start by lighting the fire, then we'll cook Mr. Krabs. It'll take some time to cook Mr. Krabs. It's time to eat him. We've eaten Mr. Krabs. We've now successfully got crabs. Let's do some exploring. Ah, we have found a weapon. Now, this will come in handy later on. We have found a mushroom. Let's pick it up and let's eat it. I wonder if it'll have an effect on me. Let's get in touch with our inner checky brecky and pick up this gas mask. Uh, it's G to equip. It'll come in handy, I'm sure. Grimtail Island has lots to offer. A day at the lovely lake or a fucking evening at the toxic pond. It's up to you. But we've spotted an enemy in the distance. We better kill him before he kills us. A couple pot shots or nothing, because we miss most of them. Let's swap to the axe and whack him a couple times. He falls like a sack of taters and dabs ever so eloquently. Let's return to the toxic pond and throw on our checky brecky mask. Now we're inside the toxic pond and it is impervious to damage. <laughs> It looks like there's a bad guy coming towards us, and it's too late for us. I have found a canine. Hopefully he's friendly. Everything else seems to want to kill us, and so does he. Let's get the fuck out of here. It looks like we're in Dodge now. Is anybody home? Uh, no. By the looks of things, everybody's out and lock the doors. Not even the maid's home. Uh, so let's, uh, yeah, nice work on the towers, by the way. They look pretty good. Analysis of Grimtail Island. It's got potential as far as survival games go. I personally like the low-poly art style. Piecing together the story of the game is quite interesting, with little notes left all over the place. I reckon the game will feel less empty with a bit of multiplayer and probably some more diverse crafting things, like maybe, you know, some platforms and walls and maybe a roof. You can make yourself a fucking love shack or something and just set up in the middle of buttfuck nowhere. I was hoping I would stumble upon Wilson, but I never did. Did. I would like to see collision boxes regarding that of stones improved in the future. It would be nice to have a spawn point that you could place down so you don't lose your stuff when you die. Personally, I have a lot of faith in the developer of the game and the time frame he has set himself to do these improvements to the game. A quick well done on the ambient sounds within Grimtail Island, although the main menu music does seem a bit familiar, as if I've heard it from somewhere. But other than that, I think the review is more or less done. Now leave a like if you enjoyed, perhaps subscribe, check out the game if you're interested. Maybe when multiplayer's around, give me a call.